Our next performer isn't just a comic, and he isn't just a magician. He's not sure exactly what he is. Uh, anyway, he started out in Minneapolis, and his, uh, he's played clubs in the Twin Cities, Chicago, and L.A., but tonight could be his big break. Please welcome comic, magician, spy, Joel Hodgson. <laughs> Joel Hodson, age 23, white, human, 8th annual, young comedian special, starting now. <laughs> uh, like John Candy told you, I just moved out here from uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. And um, these are some pictures of my trip. <laughs> um, and I'd like to start them right over here. It gets better. <laughs> Here's an impression for you. From a tree. <laughs> I'd like to do a tr card trick now. Well, would you think of a card? All right, just think of it. Okay, is this it? <laughs> That's not it? <laughs> oh, well, what was your card? Jesus. I'm sorry, this is as close as I could come. <laughs> Thanks. By day, I'm a clever comic magician holding an ordinary radio. At night, I become... <laughs> Agent G. Here's one of my new inventions. I wear this to ball games, and like, no matter where I sit, it feels like I'm right behind home plate. <laughs> Here's another invention of mine. It's Joel Hodson's pocket mohawk. another invention I created. It's the world's first uh, Braille bumper sticker. <laughs> and uh, if you could, uh, if it says, um, if you can read this, you're too close. <laughs> By day, I'm a clever comic magician holding an ordinary camera. At night, I become Agent J. <laughs> I'd like to do an impression for you now of the invisible man at home. Bring, bring. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hello?
You know, I'll admit sometimes I do go into my own little world, but that's okay. They know me there. <laughs> For this next stunt, I'll need you, the audience, to help me out by turning your heads like this. Okay. Now, come on, you're going to miss out. All right, and I'd like the people who are watching on their TVs at home to turn their TVs on the side. Okay, keep them turned. This will all be worth it, hopefully. You get it? <laughs> well, um, I'd like to do one last stunt for you now, if I would. <laughs> hey, it's my good friend Danny O'Danny. Oh, Danny loves that mean you at the Ballet Rouge and Crepe Suzette. But Danny loves to rock and roll, a hot dog makes him lose control. What a wild duet. When cousins, identical cousins, are connected by the spine, a genealogist could lose his mind because they are cousins and they're connected by that spine. I like this prop a lot, but I guess it's just an ordinary ventriloquist dummy in a night. Agent J. Thank you. I'm done now.